Okay, this is Silver Bell's sneak peek video and I couldn't be happier. Official claiming is going to happen, not this weekend, but next weekend. So get your name on the wait list now. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited with this group here. So this is our Valentine's Day litter. Right here, this lynx is a girl. Her name is Venus. And she's a regular lynx, not a charcoal. So we've been producing a whole lot of charcoal links lately, and usually it's a very popular color, but I know that there's a few people on our wait list looking for non-charcoal links, and here you have it. Look at this pretty girl. So we're gonna have pictures, but take a look at those rosettes. Well-spaced, round, great contrast. And of course, these rosettes will open up and reveal a lighter color inside. Rosette formation is slow. And at this age, it's, it's pretty common to have pretty like solid spots until this lightens up. You're such a pretty girl. One of the things I like about Venus is how dark her rosettes are, which means she's gonna have fantastic contrast. Um, another thing that is gonna be true is that she, She's gonna have blue eyes because she's a lynx. And I'll tell you, she's so dark, I would think that she was a mink, but she's genetically has to be a lynx. So I'm really impressed with the contrast and how dark she is. She's really quite beautiful. The next are all silvers, two of them girls, one's a boy. So let's go with the boy. Um, the boy's name is Cupid and that's Cupid, okay. So the thing about Cupid is it looks like he's a charcoal. It would be a light charcoal though. And the reason why I say that is because you can see a black cape down the spine right here. And then also his face. The thing about charcoals is they have a mask, a charcoal mask. And how you can tell they have a mask is if you look on either side of the nose, the bridge, it's like a black triangle and that creates the mask. So black nose, black ridge, black triangle, charcoal mask. But I mean, it, it really is minimal. He is very much um, a light charcoal. I mean, you can barely tell um, that, you know, there's the cape, it'll get lighter and you can probably see more rosette afterwards, but otherwise here he is. This is what I would call a linear rosette right there. And that's probably another linear rosette. And these are rosettes that are touching. So I would say he's not breeder quality, definitely pet quality, probably high end pet quality. On this side, again, you would see the rosettes are well spaced. There's uh, one that's a little bit more linear but I mean, for me, I'm just really picky about the shape of the rosettes. I like them to be round. I like them to be well spaced. I don't want them touching. So, but otherwise he's a chunky guy. This is Silver Bell is an affectionate girl. She's a great mom. She's very talkative. She loves to give people hugs. And I noticed that a lot of her kittens tend to end up growing up very much like her, being very talkative. Here is Desire. Desire is the other silver girl. You can tell she's not a really a charcoal at all. She doesn't have that charcoal mask whatsoever. She doesn't have a charcoal cape either. Um, you can see her rosette pattern, well-spaced, round rosettes. Um, I would say just up here, it's probably a little bit of like one linear rosette and that's about it. She does look like she's got a little bit of a rib bar, which probably will get, add some more color to her side. Um, it's not technically considered a rib bar if it's a linear rosette. A rib bar is where you got a black line and it's not a rosette at all. It doesn't add any color. This side doesn't have it. So it's just one side. She actually has a rosette up in her shoulder, um, but you can see rosette, 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 all pretty well spaced. So definitely in the fuzzies, which doesn't help because the pattern is more blurry. 
you can't see it's not super crisp and then the last girl which i am extremely extremely tempted to keep and i just may the reason why i love her so much is two reasons actually one is her ears so her ears are tiny and blunted and it's actually a very desirable quality because it is a wild trait quality that you find in the asian leopard cat you will not find it in the domesticated breed so it is a trait that is kept from the ancient lineage that makes it a more wild and more sought after look so other kittens that have bigger ears especially if they're pointed it's more like a domesticated cat she's got a wild type ear and and i'm telling you in the show rings and grading it's actually or can earn you a lot of points so it was something i noticed immediately i don't see it very often so she's very unique in that respect then there's her pattern her pattern is simply beautiful no rib bars completely well spaced loaded with rosettes and you can see the back is breaking up and she's a cutie pie to boot on this side it's a little bit more of a linear rosette there, but I can actually see it breaking up. So here's one, it looks like it's breaking up. The pattern looks like, but I mean, honestly, I feel like she's got a lot more going for her. I mean, it's hard to find perfection, but she is pretty darn close. So close. I mean, absolutely high end breeder quality. Plus I love how light her face is. Her rosettes are really dark, which is what you want. Her background's really white and light, which is gonna aid in that contrast. And I look at her face, it's so perfect. She's even got a little bit of a pink nose, which is cute. I love that pink button nose. So, there you go. 